hi fam you're welcome back to our channel in today's video we'll be showing you what our kids eat in a day breakfast lunch and dinner so if it's your first time here you're welcome make sure you click on the subscribe button turn on notification bell so whenever we upload family friendly meal ideas you don't miss it for breakfast we usually like starting off with something highly proteinous so we are going to be having more and more in this morning so there is this new hack i use to break my beans as fast as possible i just put it into the blender add in water and just, just blend it like in pause so you are just pausing the blender turning it on off on off and it just helps to break the beans once i'm done with this process and i proceed to wash my beans is always as fast as possible so my beans is washed already i'm going to be placing it into my blender now i'll be adding in some onions um, pepper both scotch bonnet pepper and shombo and then i'll be adding in some already cleaned crayfish i will also add in my seasoning cubes some salt and then i'll just blend this all together so that way my batter is as smooth as i want it to be so you can decide to make it really really smooth or you can make it a bit rough just depending on the way you like it so one tip i usually use to make sure my moment comes out well is to really minimize the quantity of water i used to boil it so this is what my paste looks like like i said you can make it as smooth as you want so i'll just be giving this a really really nice mix and you want to do this properly so that you know your moment really becomes fluffy so this is the protein i'll be using this is just some minced meat you can use whatever you have you can use eggs you can use fish any protein available would definitely work i'll also be drizzling in some um, vegetable oil into this batter give this a really really nice mix and then i'm going to proceed to tie this up so this is my moil all ready to be cooked i'll just be putting this in a pot of water and then i'm going to place this on the fire and allow it to cook my mama will cook averagely for about 30 to 40 minutes so part of my morning routine since i also have a baby below one year is to make sure i have hot water always stored in a flax and then of course i need to make pap so this is just grinded soya bean and granite paste i usually add this when i'm making pap i'll just add it to the pap paste give it a really nice mix add some hot water and then when i store this in the flax it takes me throughout the day because of course i'll be going out later on so this is the pap this is what my baby eats my baby is currently 11 months so if you want to see how i make this whole thing from scratch you can let me know in the comment section i would sure make a video on that after making pap i toss i store it in the flax and then this is what he'll be having this morning all i need to do is to just add some milk and then mix this up and breakfast for him is ready since he's 11 months he also joined us in eating solids already but then his pap is a must our moi moi is already set so i will just be serving this up for my three year old now and this is breakfast let me know if you would try out this breakfast option what you think about it do your kids like eating moi moi and guys let's move on to lunch so to prepare lunch today i'll start off by boiling my meat so this is some clean goat's meat i'll just add in some seasoning cubes some salt add in this um some onions and scotch bonnet pepper i cut up give this a really really nice mix and then i'm going to be adding enough water to cook this completely because this is like the body part of the goat's meat so i need water to cook this properly i would give this one last mix cover this and allow my goat's meat to boil then i'll proceed to cutting up some yams guys let me know if you can guess at this point what i'm going to be making so i'm going to cut up my yams i'm going to um, further dice them into smaller quantities as you can see and then i'll wash them properly and boil and i'm boiling them without salt because yes i'm making pounded yam my meat is still on the fire but since my yam is already cooked i'll proceed to sort that out so all i need to do is to just put in my boiled yam in my food processor once everything is put in i'm going to close this up tightly and then i'm going to proceed to just turn this on this takes basically less than five minutes in short three minutes and i'm good and then my pounded yam is ready 
this is definitely a game changer for me and i highly recommend because i can now make different options of swallow in just minutes at the end of the day this is what your pounded yam should look like it's still very smooth and my dear it can even pass for the um, manually pounded yam so this is it and this is what we're going to be having for swallow we're going to proceed now to make the soup with which we're going to be having our pounded yam and of course if you've watched till now and you are not yet a subscriber like fam i don't know what you're waiting for make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn the notification bell also give this video a thumbs up and let me know your thoughts about these food recipes in the comment section let me know which of them you'll be trying out so our meat is cooked already i'm just going to set that aside and set the meat stock aside now into my clean pot i'll be adding in some palm oil and then i'm going to be adding in some raw Roughly blended pepper, onion, and crayfish. So I'm just going to be frying this in the oil for a bit. Give this a really nice mix so it doesn't burn. And then since I'll be prep since I'll be preparing a goosey soup, I'll be adding in a little bit of that meat stock, more water to my egusi just because I want to form a paste. So I'm going to be adding this paste to my boiling sauce. And then once I scoop all of this, I would allow this fry for a bit. So fam, this has been fried for a bit now. I'll mix it because you don't want this to burn. So I usually like to do this on medium, low heat so it doesn't burn. But then it gets to cook properly. So after giving this a mix, I would also cover it for a while because I want this to properly cook. So I'm going to open this up now and give it yet another mix because Egusi burns so fast. So if you don't stand beside it in a minute, it's burnt. So next I'll be adding in my meat stock, some water, just to loosen this up a bit. Mix this properly and then I'm going to come in with my proteins. So I have some dried fish here. If you have stock fish or whatever proteins you have, you can use. And we added in some pomo and of course my boiled goat meat. I'll give this a really nice mix allow this to cook for a while and then i'm going to add in some bitter leaf yeah so this is some already washed bitter leaf i'm going to be adding it to my egg soup adding some seasoning cubes and a bit of salt into this and give this a really really nice mix after this i'm going to cover this and allow this to cook for a while So this has been cooking for a while and lastly i'll come in with my vegetables so this is basically ugu leaf i'm going to be giving this a really really nice mix and allow it to cook one last time because you want your vegetables to be well cooked yes and then i'm going to proceed to serve lunch so this is lunch today we are having pounded yam and egusi soup my little babies love this absolutely and this is definitely one of their favorites for dinner we're going to be having something really easy to make and every kid love this so i'm going to be putting some water in a pot and allow that to boil next i'll be roughly blending my tomatoes scotch bonnet pepper shombo and onions i will just roughly blend this you don't want this to be too smooth or whichever way you like as we proceed on in the recipe you would now know what we're making so in a pot i'm also going to add in some vegetable oils and then these are just little chunks of the goat meat we boiled earlier for our egusi soup i'm going to be frying this up and while this is frying in one side i'll go back to my boiling water and of course i'll be adding in some pasta so for dinner today we are going to be eating spaghetti so i just added in a bit of salt into this and allow this go in very well into the pot before i cover it and of course i'm going to also drizzle in some oil into this because i don't want my pasta to be too sticky so back to my boiling goat meat i'm going to add in some chopped onions so this is my chopped onion going in there i'll be adding a bit of curry powder thyme and then i'll give this a really really nice mix and allow to fry for a bit next i'll be going in with my roughly blended tomato and pepper mix so i'm just going to be adding this in give this yet another mix and allow to fry for a bit and so of course when you have kids you always want to try and incorporate eggs so as soon as i remembered i was missing eggs i had to rush in and just place that in my pasta so this is a tomato mix i'm going to be adding into my blended 
um, paste that's frying already so if i'm using the regular tomato paste i would usually put that before adding in my tomato mix but this is a bit sweeter so i can put this at any point next i just added in some seasoning cubes some salt for taste and then i mix this properly and allowed to fry so most of the times my pasta is always getting ready at, at the same time with my sauce so i'm just going to add in my boiled eggs and my boiled pasta into the sauce and try to mix this properly you really want to make sure that it is well mixed so that um the the sauce is well combined right you don't want one side to be more tastier than the other so i'll take my time to mix this properly until i can see it is fully mixed so next i'll be adding in some leftover veggies i have so this is just some carrot and green pepper i have i'm just going to be adding this in and then mix this properly just allow this steam for a while and then dinner is ready i'm going to proceed to serve this so fam let me know which of these recipes are you going to try out and if you are not yet a subscriber you don't want to miss out on our school lunchbox videos coming very soon so make sure you click the subscribe button turn on notifications bell let me know your thoughts on this video and i'll catch you in the next video bye